So I fell for the hype. But is the hype real? Let's find out. What's up guys, Will with F1 Tech. So uh, on my past video, the road uh, NTG4 Plus review I did, I stated at the end that I was looking for a B cam. Um, you know, I was in the market. Uh, choices ranged between the Panasonic uh, GH5S or the GH5, uh, the Sony A7 III, and uh, Canon XC10, I believe. Um, you know, looking online, checking videos out, I fell for the hype and I went for the Sony A7 III. Now, coming uh, from as a Canon user, um, you know, I'm a proud owner of the Canon 5D Mark IV. I know that it has its, uh, its flaws. You were the chosen one! It was said that you would destroy this and not join them! Bring balance to the force, not leave it in darkness! Um, not a lot of people are fans of the 5D Mark IV. But I love that camera. Um, I'm using it right now. I see myself using this camera in the foreseeable future. Uh, this is mainly going to be my camera for uh, these type of videos where I'm just talking to you guys and, and moving on from there. Um, so why I was looking for a, a B camera was for B-roll. Um, you know, using this Canon 5D Mark IV, um, Getting the composition right. Leave. I, I just want to leave the camera where it's at. Um, just uh, have a separate camera where I can go out and and use it for my B-roll shots. Uh, currently, I've been using the Canon uh, S2 um, Rebel. Uh, great camera. Um, you know, my my picture quality was great. It still kept. You know, I was still using my Canon lenses, uh, but uh, it only does 1080p. Um, and I, I really just want to bring the quality of my videos and keep it at 4K. So the A7 III, we're going to go ahead and open this uh, this box. We'll take a look inside. We'll see uh, the different features. We'll take some photos. We'll take some videos. Uh, I really can't wait to throw this on my Zhang Crane 2. See what kind of shots I could pull off with that. And uh, and we'll see if this the, the hype was worth it. You know, as a as a B B roll camera, B camera. Let's see if this A7 III lives up to that. I'm gonna just spoilers. I was I haven't opened it yet, but I'm gonna probably say yes. And from all the videos I watched, I'm gonna go ahead and, and say that the hype states that I can use this camera and get rid of my 5D Mark IV. I'm 100% sure that I will not do that. Uh, I just love my 5D Mark IV that much. Uh, but you never know. Let's do this unboxing. All right, so here we go. The Sony a7 III. Let's go ahead and open this baby up. Uh, some manual papers. I don't care about this stuff. You guys don't care about that stuff. We got our strap. Here is the kit lens. Take it out. 28 to 70. Nice. The lens hood. camera itself let's see very different very very different feel from uh, the 5d mark 4 or any Canon camera 
to be honest. It's it's weird. It, it feels more metal. If that even makes sense. Um, it, I, and I'm not saying I don't like it. I think uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, this grip is. Yeah, I can't wait till uh, we turn this on. Put this to the side. Let's see what else is in the box. Okay. Charger. And last but not least, we have the battery. Lithium ion battery. All right. Nothing else. All right. I'm pretty excited. Uh, this is very lightweight. I think this is gonna be perfect for gimbal usage. Uh, this is gonna be great for, uh, like I said, doing my B-rolls, putting this on a slider. Um, Getting excited here, guys. We'll go ahead and turn this on. We'll look at this uh, different menu settings. Uh, I hear that it's a nightmare with Sony. Um, here we have the missing link. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. It's going to be my first time doing this. So we'll set this all up. Um, we'll take some photos. We'll take some videos. We'll see how this works out. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited, guys. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, guys. So I've been able to use the uh, A7 III for a couple days now. I'm recording on it right now. Uh, everything they said about the menu system is absolutely correct. Uh, but I figured it out, and I'll show you guys what settings I used. Let's go check it out. All right. So the menu system. <laughs> well, it definitely needs some getting used to. However, once you play around with it, it does become a lot easier, uh, especially when you create your own custom menu uh, and that's located all the way to the right where that star is. So this menu system is broken out into tabs and then within those tabs, you have a plethora of different pages for different settings. Jefe, what is a plethora? Why, wapo? Well, you told me I have a plethora, and I just would like to know if you know what a plethora is. I would not like to think that a person would tell someone he has a plethora and find out that that person has no idea what it means to have a plethora. It's a lot of options, which uh, would take me a good while to understand every setting on every page. So I have my work cut out for me. Now, one of Sony's a7 III's biggest feature is the custom keys. Here, uh, we can customize a range of buttons located on the body of the camera and program them to whatever setting we want. So, for the control wheel, I have that set to my ISO adjustments. Um, if we take a look at the top of the camera, we can see the two custom buttons for one and two. Uh, so, for custom one, uh, button. I have that set to auto and manual focus toggle and custom 2 button is the focus magnifier. Uh, pretty much a quick way to see if my shots are in focus. Now for my custom button 3, I chose to have that for my super 35 toggle. Uh, this is a pretty sick feature that you can use to your advantage to zoom in at your subject while using a prime lens. Though I think the true purpose of this option is to switch to it if you're using an APS-C lens. However, that, we're making our own intended purposes. So for my custom button 4, which is located by the trash bin at the bottom left of the camera, is set to my focus peaking display. Uh, this is something my Canon 5D Mark IV does not have. And this is a hell of a good feature to have for making sure uh, your subject is in focus. Damn you, Sony! Damn you, why you gotta be so good? Now, I don't wanna bore you guys with all my other settings, so if you wanna take a quick look at the two pages of settings I have, uh, feel free to copy them if you'd like. 
uh, just so you guys know, most of the settings that I got here, I took off of a YouTuber called I'm Jason Anthony. Real cool dude. Uh, he has a lot of great stuff on his channel. I'll leave a link to his channel on the description down below. Definitely go check him out. All right, so let's move on to video quality. I want to take a look at two things. Uh, the 4K uh, image quality, color science, and the 120 frames per second 1080p footage. Um, so far for what I'm seeing with this camera, because I've had this camera now for two weeks playing around with it, and and yeah, it's, it's a workhorse, man. This, this camera is pretty bad ass. Um, I am loving uh, every second that I'm using with it. Um, <sighs> I, th I, I know I said in the beginning that uh, I don't think that I would replace my Canon 5D Mark IV with this uh, Sony camera, but <laughs> oh, they're making it hard for me. Uh, this, this camera is really damn good. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at these videos. Uh, this, this 4K video I got here, we'll take some look at some photos and uh, we'll take a look again uh, at this uh, slow motion. So I wanted to see how the camera would hold up in low light situations. Uh, my house is poorly lit when I don't have natural light coming from the windows. So I closed the blinds to the windows and just had my ceiling light fan turned on. The results for the video was amazing. The colors are pretty good. The video is definitely usable. I was very surprised on how well this looked. Now the same can be said for photos. Um, though more noise were introduced when I bumped up the settings in, uh, in post. However, the photos are not complete trash and in my opinion uh, are definitely usable. Um, I don't really don't think I can get this kind of results in low light situations on my 5D Mark IV. Now when we have ideal lighting, that's when everything starts to pop. The 4K image quality is just superb and I can see that this is going to be a beast when shooting product reviews. So let's go check out some slow-mo. So my final thoughts, um, well, this is one beast of a camera. And if any of you guys are in the market and looking to get into a full frame camera, this would definitely be the pick that I will recommend to you. You just won't be disappointed. It, it does awesome in low light situations. Um, the color science isn't bad at all. Uh, I'm still going to use my 5D Mark IV as my A cam and uh, the Sony a7 III will be my B cam. It'll be more for uh, B-roll type shooting, uh, product shooting, uh, things like that, where I'm gonna be more handheld, more uh, movement, more camera slide shots, things like that. Uh, that's what I'm using the a7 III for. It's got that great slow motion feature. Uh, and that, that just, man. Uh, the Canon 5D Mark IV, I love the camera. It's still gonna be my uh, my type of video for these type of shots where I'm talking to you guys um, you know I see a lot of videos out there where people are saying why well, I'm switching to Sony and I'm, I'm getting away from Canon um, it, though you know it's their choice uh, and I'm not knocking them or anything but I don't understand why you just can't have the best of both worlds um, it's not like you can't use Canon lenses on your Sony so you know it's with the Sigma MC11 adapter, it's not the 100% greatest. I understand that, 
but man, it works. It works. And uh, I, I've, I've actually uh, purchased one, put it on the camera, used a couple of my EF mounts, the 50 uh, 1.8, different type of lenses on, on that mount. And uh, on the Sony camera, it worked great. Uh, for videos, it's fine. It worked perfect. I even used my uh, Roken on cinema lens, 14 millimeter, uh, manual focus. It works fine on the Sony. Uh, so things like that, I don't, I don't see why, uh, like I'm not going to make the change or the swap from Canon to Sony. I'm going to use the best of both. So uh, those are just my opinions. That's how I feel. However, guys, if any of you out there own a uh, Sony a7 III, hit me up in the comment section down below if you have any pointers of what I can do as far as settings. I'm still learning the whole system. Um, I got maybe like 2,000 more pages to go. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. Uh, but it's definitely something that it takes getting used to, especially if you're coming from Canon. So, well, now if you like what you see, Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit up the like button. Uh, comment down below with anything that you guys might want to see on future videos or things like that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.